Okay, all right, let's go. So it is choice one through September, first 45 minutes. Okay, guys, right, focus, listen. Critical pieces of information I'm giving you now. Okay, because I'm going to say it once, I'm going to presume you know it. Come prenums next year, you're going to be sad little puppets, and I'm going to go, but I told you last year. Okay, then it's too late. Okay, so the story goes, and don't write this down, you'll be given um, a document. As soon as the IB releases the document, you will be given this document. But they haven't released it for 2021, and so there's no point in me giving it to you now, because there will be small differences between the 2020 and the 2021 document. But they're tiny differences, so I will explain to you as I go along. Okay, so the story goes. Basically, there are four sections in the matric syllabus. Okay. While they are equally weighted, more or less, they are not equal in size. So, the one we're going to start with is population ecology, and it is a quarter of the syllabus, but in fact, it's quite short. Whereas the one um, that uh, contains human reproduction, and I'll show you just now now, is actually made up of four sub-parts, and it's quite a big section as a whole. But I'll show you. Okay. Now, what's terribly, terribly important is that there are two different theory exams. And they're called Paper 1 and Paper 2. And Paper 1 is three hours and it's 200 marks. And Paper 2 is two hours and it's 100 marks. And they've got a different structure. And I will explain the structure to you as I go along through this thing today. Okay, and it's terribly important. And what happens is three of the four sections are in paper one, and one section is in paper two. Which section is in paper two rotates. So in 2020, paper two is that big one that had human reproduction, blah, blah, blah. But I'll show you. In 2021, you guys will write paper two is population ecology. And that's what we're starting with now. Okay, so we're starting with that. And so the other three sections are in paper one for you. Now, paper one and paper two have different structures. This new way of examining you only started in 2015. So if you somehow pick up a paper from pre-2015, you will find that paper one and paper two are very um, different in structure to what they are now. Okay, so don't get phased if you find an old exam paper and practice on an old exam paper, um, and then you discover that it was a different structure. The way in which they examine, some parts are different, some parts are the same. So let's talk about paper one. Paper one 
has got short questions like multiple choice matching columns, labeling diagrams, drawing diagrams, questions about graphs, whatever, whatever. Then it's got some medium length questions. And that's the whole of paper one. There's no essay in paper one. So it's short questions and then questions that are, I think, 40 marks. But they're made up of little sub questions. Like you get in tests and exams. What exactly what you used to. Okay. Paper two is very, very different. Paper two is two case studies and an essay. There's no essay in paper one. Two case studies and an essay. Okay, and that's population ecology for you guys. Okay, you happy, happy. Okay, so um, what is very, very important, so I will then go through what I'm going to call the SAGS document. Apparently you have a SAGS in physical science and you have SAGS in English apparently. Okay, so you know what you expect in the SAGS. So you will get given the relevant SAGS document as soon as the IEB releases it for 2021. Now, if you look at the SAG document, just ignore the fact that this is highlighted. It was highlighted because I was trying to do your PowerPoint and I needed to see that I've included everything. So the four sections in matric are population and community ecology. And as I said, that's what we're going to do now. And then, um, and I'll go back and talk about that now. Um, under life processes in plants and animals, there are a whole lot of, this is the lot of different subsections one. Human endocrine system, that's hormones. Reproduction in flowering plants. Diversity of reproductive strategies in some animals. And I want to cover all of this this year. I want to cover population ecology and these two sections. But we might not get as far as the reproduction in flowering plants. Then also in that same section, human reproduction. All right, so that's section two. Section three is life at the molecular, cellular and tissue level. Um, so this was what paper two was this year. Okay, all of this stuff. This human reproduction, diversity of reproductive strategies, reproduction in flowering plants and human endocrine. In 2020, that's paper two. Okay, but you're going to have a different paper two next year. So the third section then is DNA and RNA and protein synthesis and meiosis and genetics and genetic engineering. And then the fourth section is evolution. Okay, so your three in paper one are evolution, genetics, genetic engineering, meiosis, and DNA and RNA. That's your paper. Oh, no, yes, and human reproduction, diversity of reproductive strategies, reproduction in flowering plants, in the front. That all for you is in paper one. And only this is in paper two for you guys. Okay. Let's have a look at these three different columns. This middle one, aim one, is the content that is directly examinable. You have to know this stuff. So when you're learning for a test or exam, you go, do I know the work? How am I going to test if I know the work? It says you have to know the definition of an individual, a population, a community, and an ecosystem. If you don't know that, 
sorry, for you, you also need to know all of this stuff here. Okay. <coughs> Aim two is basically practical work. Now, we're never going to have enough time to learn or to do all this practical work, but we can ask it in a theoretical way. So we can give you a scenario and we can say to you, what is the independent variable, what is the dependent variable, what are the fixed variables, etc. in this scenario. Okay. And then aim three. Aim three is application of this content out there in society. So, it's appreciating and understanding the history, importance and applications of life sciences in society. So an example would be, if I taught you about um, contraceptive methods, an A3 question would be something like, how does taking the contraceptive pill affect a female's hormonal health? Okay. In theory, we cannot ask you A3 stuff without giving you information. In other words, it's not stuff you learn off by heart. So let's look at this one. Debate the decision to intervene and control community structure, e.g. the culling of elements. Now we don't expect you to learn in M1 about elephant populations and culling. But we can give you information and we can ask you about that. Now, I just have to warn you that the current examiner for paper one for two years has not stuck to that regulation of you should be given the information and ask the questions. For two years, she has just asked the questions without giving the information. Granted, it was not a huge whack of the paper. Um, Granted, there were lots of complaints about. She took no cognizance at all and she repeated the, exactly the same process last year. However, it's her last year examining paper one this year. You will get a new examiner for paper one next year. You may or may not be last year. But it's okay, it's not so it's fine. Okay. Let's talk about the portfolio. Um, anybody got any questions from this stuff? Okay, let's, uh, before we go into the portfolio, let's talk about the practical assessment task. Um, Arena. Yes. Please, won't you just switch that heater on because you guys are looking all frizzly. This side, this side. But it's your job to switch it off at the end of the lesson. Okay, yeah. Muisa, stretch over and put that one on, please. But it's your job to switch it off. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, it's your job to switch it off at the end of the lesson. I'm, if I'm wide awake in the middle of the night thinking, is my lab burning down? <laughs> you will know it. Okay. Practical assessment task, or PAT. You know what that is. Hey, it's your PRAC exam. Just like all you've written PRAC exams, lots of them. This one is set by the exam by the IB. Someone at the IB sets it. Everybody who writes IB biology writes it on the same day, same time. So the matrix, current matrix are writing it on the 16th of September. So the school gets sent a list of apparatus. We get told that every single desk has got to have a 20 ml syringe, a 100 ml beaker, um, two petri dishes, and this chemical. And we put it on all the desks. We don't know what you're going to do. And your question paper arrives in the big sealed envelope. And it gets opened in front of you. We don't know what it is. You each get one, you do it, we mark it. So they give us guidelines, they give us marking guidelines and we mark it, just like a normal PRAC exam. 
but it's externally set. Okay, and it's terribly, terribly important, and it counts five, uh, 50 marks of your 350, which is then converted to a mark out of 300. Okay, so this is your final end of your exam, final end of your exam, crack exam. Okay, let's talk about a quarter of your assessment comes from your portfolio. 100 out of 400. 25% of your final mark comes from your portfolio. It's terribly, 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 terribly important that you get a good portfolio mark. So don't come and be sad at me or at Mrs. Florenza. Come the crunch and go, I've only got 78 and I need 92. Or I've got 40 and I need to, to get into medicine, okay? You earn the portfolio mark. We don't give it to you. You earn it, okay? And we work according to very strict criteria that are set by the IEB. So that kind of thing can't change. You get what you get, okay? Right, and both Mrs. Florenza and I are very, very, very experienced in doing this. Okay, so let's talk about what it's made up of. So your portfolio is made up of your prelim exams. Prelim exams make up 25% of your portfolio. Okay, so it's important. Then you'll see you've got two what are called standardized tests. So tests written at school in class out of 15. So they will be like out of 16, but that mark gets converted to a mark out of 15. Okay, we'll go back and talk about that now now. A compulsory research task converted to a mark out of 20. An internally um, set and administered Pre, uh, prac exam to a mark out of 15. And then either a case study or a controlled writing piece, and this school chooses to do a case study, not a controlled writing piece, to a mark out of 10. And so all of those things added up equals your portfolio mark out of 100. And that portfolio mark gets sent to the IB and gets moderated, and some of the portfolios get sent to the IEB. So a moderator will say, I need this person, this person, this person. We don't choose who goes for moderation. The moderator chooses those portfolios and they get checked. Okay. Let's talk about standardized tests, two of them. We will try very hard to give you at least three out of which you choose your two best. However, you will know from this year, things don't necessarily go smoothly and we've only just managed to give the matrix three tests. Okay, it was touch and go as to whether or not we would be able to give them that third one. So don't go and go you know, it does, this test doesn't matter, I'll make it up on the next one. You may not get a next one. Okay, we don't have to give you a next one. As long as we do two, that's enough. Okay, so we will try and give you three of which you choose your two best. Then you get a research project. And what happens there is you get, um, this year, there were three possible topics and you have to choose one topic. And I marked two of the topics, and Mrs. Bruins marked one of the topics. Okay. So depending on which topic you choose, you will get a particular marker. Okay. We mark according to a rubric, we moderate each other's work very carefully, and so it's much of a muchness. The research project consists of a proposal, so you first of all do a proposal, okay, where you go, 
this is what I plan to do and this is how I plan to do it. And it involves research. It's not just um, off the internet. You've got to go and do a questionnaire or something or the other. Okay. So you hand in a proposal, we mark it, we give it back. Okay. With comments. Like, you've done too much on this, not enough on that. This question is bad. You need to reword it. Doesn't mean what you think it means, um, et cetera, et cetera. We'll give it back to you. You then go and do the research and you write a draft report. You take all the information you get from questionnaires and you write a draft report. We mark it, we make comments, we give it back to you. You then do a final. That final, you need to have made all the changes that we said you needed to make. We mark it, we give it back to you, that's your mark. And you'll see, it's 20 marks out of 100. It's terribly important that you do well in that. Okay, right, you're all happy. Yes, Mrs. Page? No, Mrs. Page? Yes. Right, any questions about any of this? No, you're okay. Now, so the work you're doing this term, is it grade 12? So we have our exam based on this work. Okay, so your exam at the end of the year. Um, for me, it's more important that you get examined on grade 12 work because the more times you learn that, the better. So your end of your exam will be, and I said, what I said to you is we're definitely going to do population ecology. So that whole section will be in your end of year exam. And then I'm going to try and do another sub, two subsections. Diversity of reproductive strategies in animals will definitely be in your exam. I've already put it in. And reproduction in flowering plants. I'm a bit confused. I beg your pardon? You're in class without a pen? doesn't bode well. I beg your pardon? Rubbish. I was the youngest. Never touched a thing. Would have been beaten to death if I had. Hmm? And what about COVID and sterilization and all that guns? Okay, you're going to have to not mumble at me. You have checked this morning, ma'am, so if his temperature is high and you have to I don't care about you, I care about him. I can do it, ma'am, I don't mind. Quickly! Counting two. One. Two. One and a half. One and three quarters. One and seven eighths. One and eight eighths. One and nine eighths. One and ten eighths. <laughs> Quickly! These kids want to pass my trick and you're farting around over there with the sanitizer. <laughs> what are you saying about Josh? What are you saying about me? I want to talk. I said I need to do it one more time to make sure. Counting two. One. Oh, no. Just take the Yes. See why I chose not to have children. I said that's why I chose not to have children. Okay, right, everybody happy? We were halfway through a question.
Do I answer it? Are you eating in my class behind your mask? <laughs> Fortunately, I'm a teacher. I'm obviously quite stupid and I didn't realize. <laughs> You, you do know your ears move and your mask moves. <laughs> I probably see it more than I would see it if it weren't for a mask. But it's fine, I don't care. As long as they're not crunchy food. And if it's chocolate, you've got to separate it into two, one half here first. Okay, right, be happy, happy. Are you sure? Okay. Basically, what it boils down to is you've got to work incredibly hard. Okay. Now's the time you set your goal from a trick. And now's the time you start working. Okay. All right. So I will give you sags as soon as we, um, as soon as the IE sends it. Okay. Right. So. Okay. Population ecology. Okay. Paper two. It's the only section in paper two in 2021. And it has only been in paper two once before. Oh, no, no. Yeah. And this is one PowerPoint, and there's still another one to come. And this is like 167 slides. <laughs> You'll be fine. I love it. Actually, I love the whole matrix of it, so it's fine. You're going to enjoy it. You're going to enjoy it a lot. Yeah, and it's, it's very, it's very suited to pack it to, in terms of content, because of case studies. Yeah, okay. All right, okay. So, there are, in this section, a lot, a lot of definitions. You have to, have to, have to, have to know them. Because, and especially because it's the case study section. So what will happen is, they will give you a case study where they give you a whole lot of information about some organism that you've never heard of. Okay. Right, you're okay. So they will give you information because paper two always has what is called a source booklet. So it's about 14 full scap pages of information and graphs and drawings and whatever. And they ask you questions based on your knowledge or your supposed knowledge from class and the information that is in the source booklet. So you might never ever have heard of something called an elephant shrew. They might choose to give you a case study on an elephant shrew. Okay, so they will give you information on an elephant shrew and they will, for example, say to you, um, blah, 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 elephant shrew, blah, blah, blah. And then question one is, is the, the elephant shrew group in Swalu Kalahari a population? Now you've got to have two things to be able to answer that question. The one is you need to know the definition of a population. And secondly, you read through the information and you go, does this information fit that definition? And then you can answer, yes, it is a population because blah, 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 and blah, blah. But if you don't know the definition, you can't answer the question. Okay. So, learn your definitions. Okay, the first definition is pretty easy, but it's got a little bit of a biological bias to it, and therefore you need to be able to answer this. It is an individual. Now guys, you will notice that the last like six pages of your notes is a glossary of terms. So if you flip to the back, I've given you all the definitions. I'm not amazing. 
And there's also one black.